Cathy Power 32.ie. I'm here at County Hall on Friday morning speaking to Ger O'Leary, who is the Managing Director of Winthrop Engineering. Tell us why you're here, Ger. Well, we're here because um, uh, a number of subcontractors, um, we can't get, um, can't get paid effectively for work that we did in the uh, Leisure Centre, um, the Watershed Leisure Centre, and um, the Council uh, owns the Watershed Leisure Centre, and effectively the Council um, has refused to pay um, us to, via the main contractor. He owes the, the money to, to the main contractor, but effectively the money is owed to the subcontractors, so um, we can't get paid because the Council won't, uh, won't pay us. And what's the source of the problem? There wasn't a problem with your work, was there? No, no, they, there's no problem with any of the work completed by the subcontractors who are, who are uh, protesting or looking for their money. In fact, Dermot Gaynor, uh, who's the chief executive of the Leisure Centre, has, um, has gone to print and has, uh, has written the fact that uh, there's, no, there's no problem with any of the work completed by the subcontractors. Um, the problem arises uh, as a result of, I believe, some uh, problems with tiles um, and that uh, there's a dispute with the main contractor. But uh, the monies that, that, that we're looking for are, uh, we're nominated subcontractors and the, the money that we're looking for has been certified by the project architect who was appointed by, um, by, the, by the watershed. He has certified that the work is complete, he has certified the money is due to um, the contractors and um, we're looking for that money to be paid um, directly by the, the watershed leisure centre to the subcontractors which um, the, the contract allows, which there's a mechanism within the contract to allow. And how many companies are here today? There are three companies um, protesting today. There's um, Clancy Contracts, who are the electrical contractors. There's Aircon Mech, who did the uh, air conditioning and ventilation. And there's Winthrop Engineering, who were the mechanical contractors. And we reiterate again, there was no problem with any of your work at all? Absolutely no problem. And when did you finish up? We finished uh, the project in October 08. And um, uh, the money uh, was certified um, in October, I believe, October 09, I believe. And uh, that money has, um, has not been paid. So you're waiting quite a while now. Yeah, it's well, a long time at Has this it stage. Has affected yeah. your ability to function? Or um, a, a, look, I suppose you know we're a, probably in a reasonably fortunate position ourselves, but you know that's not to say that a number of the other subcontractors aren't. Yes. Um, you know, there, as I said, there are seven subcontractors due money in total, uh, and, and certainly, um, you know, uh, you know, for for us personally, it's a case of of, of showing whatever support that we need to to, to all the subcontractors. Um, you know, and, and and at the end of the day, this is this is a, this is a public client. You know, this is funded by taxpayers' money. This is funded by tax that I pay myself. So certainly, there's a there's a, a principle uh, at issue here, in that um, in, in that you know we believe we, that uh, the companies should be paid by the um, by the by the local by the government uh, organisation. And will your protest continue until the council begins to negotiate? Well, absolutely. I mean, today is 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 is, is the start. Um, you know, we're going to we're going to continue. Um, maybe we, we, we'll we'll look at it again um, next week. We we may go on a daily basis. We may go on a weekly basis. But um, certainly, we're going to. Um, you know, we're not just going to forget about it. You know, the subcontractors. We believe that that uh, that we have right on our side, and that, uh, that 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 we should be paid and. You know, we, we're not just going to go away, we're going to continue protesting until we get our money. And what has been the reaction of people passing in here today now? And look, it's very positive um, from everybody, from the, the people on the street and people uh, driving in. A number of people have, you know, we haven't stopped anybody, we haven't tried to uh, um, cause any obstruction and anybody, but a number of people have asked us, is it okay to pass the picket? And we said absolutely. Uh, in fact, Everybody, bar staff, has, has has asked, "Is it okay to pass the picket?" And we're getting a good bit of support from from pedestrians and people passing the street as well. So we're very encouraged with that. Okay, well, thank you very much for talking to me, Jared. Thank you. Thank you.